You are looking, what is this? What is this? Measuring yes, measuring cylinder. What is this made up of? It is made up of glass or transparent plastic. No, we will talk about its scale. You know, it has a scale uh, starting from 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 up to 100. Yes, this is 100 milliliter capacity and it has a capacity of 100 milliliter. Uh, this cylinder has a capacity 100 ml. Do all cylinders have same capacity? No. Some cylinders have more than this uh, capacity. Some has uh, 2500 ml, some has 100, some have 50 ml. Different cylinders have different capacities. Can you tell me what is this cylinder used for? Yes, it is used to measure the volume, volume of a liquid or volume of a powdered substance. Suppose you have a floor, you can measure its volume with the help of this cylinder. And also on this side you are having water, you can measure volume of water with the help of this cylinder. Actually I was uh, speaking wrongly, it is not cylinder, it is cylinder. You will call next time a uh, measuring cylinder. Speak please. Good. Now I tell you another use. Suppose you have this solid and irregular shaped. You suppose you have a stone like this. You can find the volume of stone with the help of this measuring cylinder. Cylinder, yeah. There are two conditions for such bodies for measuring their volume. It should not dissolve in water. I tell you this water I will use and this substance should not dissolve in water and also it should, should sink in water. It should not float on water. If it floats, we cannot find its volume. Now add some water into the cylinder. Yes. Stop, please. Stop, stop here. Now we will note the reading of the liquid, mean water in the cylinder. This is 64. You will note lower side, lower portion reading. This is a meniscus, mean you have a curve. One is the upper side and one is the lower side. You will note reading of the water from the lower side. This is 64 milliliter. Note the initial volume. This is not velocity. This is V for volume. Capital V is written for volume. Initial volume is 64 ml. And now we will find the final volume. We will find the volume of this uh, uh, cork. And first tie it with the help of thread. Now lower this into the water. Lower this uh, cork into the water, it will sink in water. No, please, you have left the thread, you shouldn't leave the thread. Okay, doesn't matter. Yes, no, note the volume, volume, I think it is 72 ml. This is the final volume. This is the volume when you put the cork into the cylinder. Cylinder. Uh, no, level of the liquid level of the water is increased. Why is it increased? Because of this cork, when we put this cork into water, the level of the water rises. Now this is the final volume, 72. How much volume increased? And how much volume increased? 8 ml. This is the volume of the object that we dipped into the water. You have learnt how to find the volume of an irregular shaped object with the help of a measuring cylinder. cylinder. Some precautions for this experiment. First, your, this surface should be plain. Plain and it should be leveled. And this cylinder is kept on the leveled surface vertically. Mean in the upward direction. Then after placing it, we uh, put water into it. We noted the level of the water. And here there are two precautions for noting uh, level of the water. I told you there is a meniscus mean there is a curve in this cylinder. You will note lower portion reading of this curve not upper portion. And also your eye must be at the same level at the level of the meniscus. Where is the meniscus you must bring your eye very close to this meniscus then take the reading. Not by standing like this mean at the upside or sitting at downside, neither like this. You will bring your eye exactly at the level of the meniscus, then note the reading.